dreams come true, guitar solo or the me melody part. The melody is a tune that the people sing to. Okay? So, or if there's no singer, you can play it as a solo and then people will recognise what tune you're actually playing. Dreams come true. Our first solo piece. It's made up of two sentences. Sentence one and sentence two. And then it's at the end, we put a little tail piece onto it. Let's do sentence one. We're using our first and our second strings, our E and our B strings. We use our four fingers in their four spaces, just like our warm up. And here we go. So we start on the E string going open, three, one, Open then to the B string two. That's sentence one, that's all it is. Open three one open three. Play that with me. Open three one open and three. And again. Open three one open three. That's all it is for sentence one. I'll get you to practice that one for me. Spend some time practicing sentence number one. Sentence number two. We're going to start this time on our second string, on our B string. It goes one, three, open, one, and then three back on the second string. So each of our sentences, sentence one and sentence two, finishes on on three. Space three with finger three. Three, open, one, and three. Let's go through sentence two together. One, three, open, one, three. Let's do that again together. One, three, open, one, three. Okay, practice that for me. Now, we put this song together, as you'll see in your student material, homework materials. We have sentence one, sentence one, sentence two, two, one, one, two, and then the tail piece. Let's play through the sentences as they appear in the song, and then we'll do the tail piece at the end of the song. I'll show you how that goes. Here we go. So we go in sentence one, play it twice, up for one, two, three, four. Three and four. Sentence two. And sentence two. Two, three, four. Back to sentence one. And one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Sentence two. Now, from that point there, our tail goes open on the E, open on the one string, and then one on your second string to finish. Play those two notes for me. Open on one and number one on string number two. Let's put that all together. Remembering on our third finger at the end of each sentence we hold it for four counts. Here we go. Two, three, four.
Well done. All you need to do now is keep practicing that one. Remember, the slower you play, the quicker you're actually going to learn the song. Okay, so you don't need to play any faster than what I've got on the video today. Well done. Work on that one, and I'll see you next time.